you said that it's not true that depression and anxiety are necessarily caused by low serotonin. And so the premise of the necessity of SSRIs doesn't necessarily hold up, right? Mm -hmm. That it's supposed to be raising your level of serotonin, but you're saying that that's not necessarily the problem to begin with. I'd love to expand on that a little bit uh, because that has been one of the most dominant myths uh, and uh, about how these drugs work. Maybe that's the problem. And so mm. one narrative survives and the other dies. And so the narrative that survives is that the patients, they have these chemical imbalances. And the reason for that is because it's a, it's a better commercial narrative. And so the drug companies knew this and they said, well, a better way to package this drug is to say, hey, this drug is actually fixing a medical problem. Like, don't worry about your life. Don't worry about these issues. Your problem is serotonin and we've got the drug that's going to fix it. If you characterize it as like you're fixing a biological po problem, all of a sudden it makes sense to take a biological agent rather than a drug to mask things. But there's no biological test. There's no biological test, no differences. Wow. And even when it comes down to like genetics or brain scans or any of these things, they have never been able to find a biomarker that can separate people who are depressed from people who are not depressed. Not one single biomarker has been found between depressed people and non-depressed people. So we don't know of any biological cause for depression. Yeah, essentially there's no difference in any of these chemicals. And so these, these drugs aren't correcting anything. They're simply masking symptoms, which is, you know, you could have a moral argument and say, yeah, morally, I disagree with that. But, the, but you could also just say, well, I don't really care. I just want to feel well and I'm suffering. And I think that's totally fair because we want people to feel better. But then the issue is we don't tell them about, hey, these are drugs just like any other drug. They're gonna wear off over time. And there's also risks of prolonged use because our brains aren't used to being on them. And so we give them this, this very like, you know, it's just a lie, you know, it's just a misleading message about the safety of the drugs and how they work. And um, because the, the more responsible thing to tell people is, hey, these have drug effects. 